Hey guys, in this lesson, we're going to translate expressions and word problems. So again, we're doing expressions. So that means there's not gonna be an equal sign, but there is gonna be a variable, numbers, and some operations. So let's look at this first one. And we have the difference of a number and eight. So I'm gonna underline the word difference, and that is going to mean subtraction. So a number, that's gonna be your x or your variable. Again, for these ones, you can pick whatever variable you want in general, um, I tend to stay away from O, I, and L just because they look like zeros and ones and different things like that. So I tend to go with X's um, or N's or things like that, but if you want to pick a different one, that's fine unless they specify it. So if they say a number X, then you need to use that X. So for this one, the difference of a number and eight, difference is going to be subtraction. So we're going to have X minus eight. Done, there's your expression. The next one is a product of a number and two. So product means multiplication. So a number and two. So we're gonna do N, we're gonna do our dot for our multiplication sign, two, or you can do two N. Remember when they're next to each other, that means multiply. For the next one, this one is the sum of a number and three. Sum means addition, so N plus three. Or, because of the commutative property, you could do 3 plus n. Quotient means division. So, because the order matters, you need to keep it in the order that it has it. So, it is a number in 15. So, you're going to do 15, or sorry, n divided by 15. Also, you could write this with n over 15. Remember, the fraction bar means division. So, go ahead and try the next two. Pause the video right now, and then come back and check it. So I hope you've done the next two. We've got one with decrease, so it would be n minus n, nine for that one, and then a number times 13, that's either gonna be 13n or 13, oh, we're gonna use the dot, of course, times n. So these ones are a little bit different. I'm gonna do the first one with you and then I want you to try the next one. So it's got the word less than. So less than, what's, less than is what's called a switch word. So we're gonna switch it, the order. Because think about it, five less than a number. Let's say our number was six. You would have your six and then you would take five away from it. Five is less than, five less than a number. If we did six, it would be six minus five. So you kind of switch the order. So if our number is our variable, we would do x minus 5. So see how we switch the order? So even though the 5 comes first, because of the switch word less than, it switches the order. So go ahead and try the next one, and then pause the video now, and then come back and check it. So I hope you got that this one has a switch word also, and you're going to switch it around. So it would be 15 minus W. So see how they gave me the W? So I needed to use that W in the problem. So let's go ahead and try some word problems. Katy Perry reads P pages each day of a 200 page book. Write an algebraic expression for how many days it will take Katy to read the book. So let's underline our keyword. She reads P pages each day, a total of a 200 page book. Again, algebraic expressions. We've got our variable P and it's 200 pages total. So we wanna figure out for how many days it will take her. So I hope you're thinking that it's division because you're correct. So you have your 200 page book divided by P pages each day. Again, it's an expression, so we're not gonna have an equal sign or an answer. You could also write this as 200 over P because that fraction bar means division. So Taylor Swift drives 55 miles per hour. Write an expression for how far she will drive in H hours. We're gonna underline our H hours, 55 miles per hour. It's going to be 55 times the number of hours, so 55H. Try the next two and then come back and watch the video to check and make sure you got them right. So on a 50 question test, Channing Tatum misses C questions. I'm sure C is not a very big number because Channing Tatum is very smart. So 50 point question, he misses C questions. Write the expression to represent how many got correct. So 50 minus C, because you're subtracting how many questions he got right to see how, or sorry, how many he got wrong to see how many he got correct. So 50 minus C. 
John has 34 baseball cards. He gets X more. Hopefully you see that more means addition. Write an expression to represent this situation. So it's going to be 34 plus X. So these ones are going to be a little bit trickier. I want you to try and read the problems and see if you can figure out what the expression is going to be. They may have multiple steps in them, so take your time really thinking about it, and then let's um, we'll talk about them. So go ahead and pause the video and try the next two. So Miss Sherrick and her five friends go to dinner. They each get dinner that costs D dollars and one dessert to share that costs four dollars and fifty cents. So Miss Sherrick and her five friends, so it's a total of six people, each get dinner that costs D dollars and they each share a dessert, or they share a dessert all together. So it's gonna be six D, so six times the D dollars for each dinner, plus the four dollars and fifty cents. So 6D plus $4.50 is your expression for this situation. Trey has M magazines and he gives half away to his sister and then he gets three more. So you're gonna start with your M magazines. You're gonna divide it by two because he gives half of them away, which is dividing by two. Then he gets three more, so plus three. Another way you could write this is just M divided by two plus three or also, Dividing by two is the same as multiplying by one half. So you could have done one half times M plus three. So go ahead and make sure you have your notes all filled in. So go ahead and make sure you've got it all filled in and then follow the unit plan to do the next activity.